Hello, my beloved students. It is me, Teacher Ato, and this is English Fluency Ato channel. Yes, in case you are brand new here, you are highly welcome, and I welcome you again in this channel uh, known as English Fluency Ato. Yes, uh, today uh, we shall be talking about uh, past tenses. Okay, past tenses, this can also be known as yesterday tense okay yes yesterday tense is just when you're talking about things that has passed okay so uh this channel is also purposely meant to actually help you improve on your english and become a better english speaker so that you can connect to the world yes so i am so happy to share this knowledge with you because i want the best always for you yes if you like the content remember to subscribe like and share okay if you like the content you like the class you like everything remember to subscribe like and share your subscription is also very very important in this channel yes let me hope that i'm giving you the best i got okay because it is my wish and my want to give you the best that i have okay let me hope it is helping you somehow and somewhere yes uh for today uh we just don't want to take a lot of time we want to to just start it straight away yes as i told you before we shall talk about the past tense past tense is about yesterday what has already happened not what is happening or not what will happen but what already finished to happen which is yesterday or some minutes back okay or some hours back as well but today we shall specify on yesterday we shall focus on yesterday tense yes um in yesterday tense uh, things normally change okay yes the is it the verb changes okay the verb change sometimes it becomes regular sometimes becomes irregular regular verbs these are verbs that uh, they don't change in term of sound okay regular verbs they don't change in term of sounds and writing just they change a little bit like they add on ed uh on as at the end okay they put ed at the end or even d itself okay that is regular and then irregular verb these are verbs that change completely you don't have to add d or ed at the end okay and there are many irregular and many regular verbs as well uh so here what we have uh we only have regular verbs okay we only have regular verbs uh and some few irregular yes and also some few irregular uh we shall see them here at the uh during our classes okay so uh number one uh we have uh naomi dash her fingers okay so now naomi is a name of somebody okay naomi dash her fingers so they've given us cut cut is a verb okay yes that is a verb that they have given us to change it or to use it into past so um past tense of cut what is it okay yes past tense of cut it 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 it, it becomes cut uh and then number two we have who dash his jacket who dashed his jacket so uh we have take okay so here take becomes irregular verb okay take becomes a regular verb so take is going to change completely it is different from number one which is cut cut did not change you just add ed so take 
is going to change into took okay it's going to change into took so you can see that this number two is also a question okay this number two is also a question so uh it will be who took his jacket so it means that somebody's jacket was taken okay somebody's jacket was taken so we are asking to find out the person who took the jacket okay so who took his jacket and the jacket taken was for a male person a male means simply a man or a boy yes uh, who took his jacket so we want to find out who is that who took the jacket and then number three they dash their school fee okay they dashed their school fee so we have pay pay so pay is not going to change pay is not going to change at all so uh we shall say who paid okay i'm not saying that's not going to change completely uh it's, it's not going to change like number two okay for number two take became took and then this time is is uh you are going to change some small little things like uh y is going to go away and you add d so it's going to be i d okay only some small little change but it's not gonna change like completely like irregular verb yes so uh they paid their school fees so it means that these people they are also many because of their okay not only one if it were one person it was gonna be his or her he paid his school fee or she paid her school fee but this time we have they okay which is also uh they is also a, a, a pronoun symbolizing that uh some some uh, symbolizing that a sentence is talking about plural okay so they paid their school fee pay is gonna change into paid yes um let's go to number four doris doris is also a name here in this country doris is a name of a woman doris dash sick yesterday okay doris das dash sick yes today therefore they have given us is we have is so is is gonna change into was okay that is also irregular see it has changed completely into was so the the noun as the verb the verb given in the brackets these are present simple verbs okay it's not talking about the past or it's not talking about the future it's it's uh the verb given us in the bracket given to us in the bracket that we are using right now it is in present so we are just changing them changing them into past from present into past but the sentences we are talking about right now is is past past sentences so we just have to put the right verb by changing them into past verb as well okay yes so we have dorish doris was sick yesterday is will change into was when it is past okay yes and then here we have whitney dash to her mother whitney is a name 
which need dash to her mother in the bracket we have right so right is present so we shall change right into past okay into yesterday right becomes wrote becomes wrote whitney wrote to her mother yesterday whitney wrote to her mother yesterday so the past tense of write is wrote wrote uh number six why does waste the money why does waste the money so they've given us do okay so do is also a verb is a present verb so then do will change completely into did why did you waste the money remember it is a question okay it is a question so when you are using do as a question talking about the past it will change into did okay it will change into did don't say why do you waste the money why do you waste the money if you say why do you waste the money it means that you are talking about now okay you are asking about now but if you are asking about uh the past do will change into did you will say why did you waste the money the money has already been wasted why did you waste the money let me hope that we are clear when in case you like the class remember to subscribe like and share yes you're welcome again for those one who are new in my class this is english fluency at all and my name is teacher at all i'm enjoying to share with you the content i got for you today uh let's go to number seven samson dash me the old story samson dash me the old story so we have tell tell is present okay tell is present so we shall make it into past therefore we shall say samson told me the 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 what the old story samson told me the whole story yes so it means that samson told me the story yesterday if if is now you say tell okay oh no it's telling if it's today tell okay T tell samson told me the story so it makes it past uh told will be t-o-l-d okay yes that's the spelling and then number eight we have they dash late to school they dash late to school in the bracket we have come okay come is present and then if it is past you say came okay o is gonna change into a uh they came late to school they came late to school yes today we shall stop here and i will see you in the next class thank you for watching this content let me know in the content uh not content let me know in the comment below your view and what you want me to share with you i'll see you in the next class ciao